Hey Millhouse family, I'm going to take you through how to put together your ricotta gnocchi kit. Let's get started. So to get started with our gnocchi, we're gonna add a little oil to a nonstick pan. I would use a nonstick pan, you could use also like a French steel pan um, that's been seasoned well, uh, but you want something that has nonstick properties in it so that our gnocchi doesn't stick. We're gonna go ahead and throw those in. We wanna start getting some color on them. We'll get those, we'll give those just a few minutes. So they've already been poached um, and cooked essentially all the way through. We're doing this just to get color on them and we'll add some texture and make them really nice when they're ready to go. We'll let that go for a minute and we'll come back to it. Okay, these have been cooking just for a couple minutes. We'll give them a little toss. Ah, that's beautiful, we're starting to see some color. So we wanna get a little more color on some other pieces of them. A little more all the way around. So we're gonna let these cook for another, I'd say two to three minutes, maybe one to three minutes. Um, and then we'll come back and check out, check on them. Okay, these have been cooking in a couple more minutes and you see we're getting some color, not just on one side of the gnocchi, but on multiple, which is what we wanna see. We wanna see that for texture and flavor. Um, so they are ready at this point. If there's residual oil in the pan like this, uh, that didn't soak up or get absorbed. You can just kind of dab it up. We don't want that in our sauce uh, with some paper towels. So we're gonna go ahead and put this into, we're gonna put this into a bowl and then we're gonna warm up the sauce. So we'll put this in a bowl and we're gonna set that aside and then we're going to heat up our sauce. So we're not, we don't even need to turn the pan back on necessarily. Um, we'll add our tomato sauce. And we just want to give that a little stir, let that sit. Until it just warms up. We'll let that warm up in the pan for another minute and then we'll go ahead and plate up. So, all right, so we've got our sauce that's warmed up. I'm gonna make a little bit of a hole here in the middle. You can go all over if you want, but for me, I'm just gonna do the sauce right in the middle. That way people can kind of grab what they want. And then we also have in the kit, you have some ground Romano, Pecorino Romano cheese and some chili flake if you'd like. Um, so people can put that on on their own if they want or you can garnish it ahead of time for everybody. And I like a little heat, so we'll go ahead and add some of that. And you're all set for your ricotta gnocchi with bursted tomato sauce. Enjoy.